Dry ice blasting is a cleaning process that at first sight appears similar to conventional media blasting. Small pellets of dry ice, which is pure solid carbon dioxide, are loaded into a hopper and fed to a blast nozzle using compressed air, typically 2.5 cubic meters per minute at 5.5 bar. The pellets impact the surface at high speed and clean it. With conventional media blasting, the cleaning action is achieved by abrasion. With dry ice, the cleaning process is entirely different. This is why dry ice is safe to use on sensitive surfaces like plastic or circuit boards, and why the process doesn't need to be contained in a blast cabinet. Why is there this difference between the two blasting processes? The most generally accepted scientific explanation is that the dry ice particles penetrate the dirt layer as a solid and then rapidly sublime to a much larger volume of CO2 gas. This rapid expansion from a small pinhead sized particle to a bubble of gas well over 700 times its original volume breaks up the dirt layer, which is then carried away in the blast stream. Because the cleaning action is achieved with a gas and not by abrasion, there is very limited chance of causing damage to most hard materials. Here you can see that the plastic, metal and glass components clean up without damage. But if the dry ice pellets can penetrate soft materials like wood, sandstone, plaster, etc., there can be changes to the substrate. Despite this, the effect achieved on softwood can be quite pleasing, but on hardwood dry ice is often used as a renovation tool. Because the dry ice converts to a harmless gas as soon as the cleaning cycle is complete, there is also no harmful media left over that can rebound from the work area and damage neighboring equipment or personnel. This is particularly important when refurbishing large machines where the work area is surrounded by sensitive electrical or pneumatic equipment, which would need to be removed for abrasive, chemical and aqueous or solvent-based processes. Dry ice cleaning of a large printing press takes a few days. Conventional cleaning takes many weeks of skilled engineers' time. Here we see another major advantage of using dry ice. In the past, aluminium gravity dyes were cleaned by conventional media blasting. This meant cooling the dyes, removing them to a blast cabinet and reheating them after cleaning, a job that would take several hours and stop production of the component. Today, using dry ice directly onto the hot mold, the job can be completed in a fraction of the time without significant loss of dye temperature. A similar application is the cleaning of hot boxes or core boxes used to mold sand with thermosetting resin for making sand casting cores. Again, the cleaning can be carried out on the machine while the core box is still hot, with a minimum loss in productivity. Of course, cleaning on the production machine is not always necessary, as in the case of this plastic injection molding tool used to make visible components for car interiors. The need for cleaning is relatively infrequent and can generally be planned between production runs. However, because of the leather grained finish on the part, the tool must be cleaned to maintain the quality of the grain effect, as with use, this fills up with silicon release agent. Conventionally, the tools would be cleaned with a mildly abrasive media, which over time softens the definition of the grain effect. Using dry ice, the release agent is removed without any loss of tool material. And the need for tool refurbishment, which can cost as much as the price of a clean surface blaster, is totally avoided. As we have seen, dry ice blasting is a safe, effective, non-abrasive cleaning tool. It is chemically inert and does not involve the use of solvents. In addition, most commercially available dry ice is approved for food use, and because the process damages and removes microorganisms, it leaves surfaces safe for direct food contact. Some of the most typical uses of dry ice blasting are mold cleaning in the metal casting, plastics and rubber industries, cleaning spillage or end-of-run leftovers from process machinery, 
removing contaminants from surfaces prior to the application of coatings or adhesives, removal of coatings or protective films where substrate damage must be avoided, refurbishment of machinery, and decontamination of components exposed to radiation. Dry ice blasting improves productivity, increases safety, and reduces costs.